Today, you're gonna to learn how to generate hundreds of B2B leads in just minutes. This is without a doubt the most effective strategy that you can use in 2024 and beyond. And to be completely frank with you guys, I thought about holding this back for myself and not recording this video at all. But here we are today, I cannot help myself. Now, quickly, a lead is simply a potential customer that you're gonna reach out to and sell your product or services to. This is a qualified potential customer so you know they're suitable. Some of you guys may call these prospects, okay? It doesn't really matter. But what I'm gonna show you right now is a list of leads that I've generated using the software that I'm going to show you today. Now, I've used tens and tens of different softwares over the years. I own a multi seven-figure business. We reach out to over 50,000 qualified leads every single month, so I know a thing or two when it comes to lead generation. And this right here is without a doubt the most effective strategy that I have ever used to date. It's clay.com. Now, imagine a Google Sheet. So we're seeing here like a Google Sheet format, kind of similar spreadsheet is very familiar. But through APIs, Clay.com plugs in multiple different softwares that we can use to gather certain data points on specific leads. So it essentially gets rid of tens of other tools that you may have been using in the past and consolidates everything in one simple place. And I just want to show you guys because this is going to absolutely blow your mind. So First of all, you can click the link in the description. You can sign up. I don't mind if you do use my link or not, but clay.com have decided to give all of you guys an incredible amount of free credits that you can use on the website. I'll touch on that later down the line uh, in this video. But for now, I'm gonna show you how this actually works. So we're gonna hit new table and we can first of all choose where we want to pull data from as our baseline. So where do we wanna find companies from, okay? Now this is B2B, but you could use this in theory for B2C as well because we can identify uh, people as well. So let's start off with LinkedIn. I'm gonna show you something else down uh, later on, but you could use store leads to find e-commerce companies. You could use a CSV from a list that you've generated previously and just use this to enrich. You could use Google Maps for instance, but yeah, let's use LinkedIn. And this is gonna bring up a very familiar kind of LinkedIn based search. So we can search for company names, we can search for based on location. Now I'm gonna do a specific industry. So let's go with, let's do real estate, okay? And there's gonna be a lot of these guys. I'm gonna do uh, company size, kind of larger kind of mid-size companies here. And we're gonna do location, New York. Let's see how many companies this actually throws up right now. 2,500 companies there, okay? Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna import, let's say, let's say 1,000 of these companies. Okay, perfect. Let's import 1,000. Now we get to choose whether we want to fully enrich this company, whether we want the company headcount. Now an enrichment is simply pulling as much data as we can from the LinkedIn page. We can check out the recent news. We can look at their tech stack. We can look at job openings, any funding that they've recently had. But I'm gonna stick with this for now. We're gonna import that. Okay, and what we're doing is we're pulling as much information as we can about these companies. You can imagine as we start getting this information, we can use this when it comes to our sales process as well. And you can actually plug ChatGPT and AI into Clay natively to write completely personalized emails. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm gonna show you down the line. This is just absolutely wild. This is so much more than just a lead generation software. Okay, so here we've got some of these companies. Let me go on for example, if I click on that, you can see we have the LinkedIn URL, we have the domain, we have the website, we have the logo, we've got a description pulled in off LinkedIn as well. We've also got the employee account and follower account and so on. So now we want to find, and you can see this is all kind of formatted in a very familiar kind of Google Sheet format. Now what we want to do is to actually want to find some people, okay? So we're going to hit the find people button up the top, and I want to find people at a seniority level of owner, partner, CEO, C-suite. So I want the decision makers here, okay? Let's preview how many people we can find, but first of all, let's just limit this to three people per company. Okay, or maybe one person per company, actually. Let's just find the, the biggest decision maker. So how many have we got here? We've got 50 people and 711 people there. Okay, so I don't wanna use up too many credits here, so I'm actually just gonna set this to one per person, one per company. And I'm also gonna get rid of partner C-suite and director. And let's see how many people we can actually find here. So we're going just for the owners here of these businesses. 355, awesome. So I'm gonna import all of those people and I'm also gonna fully enrich their profile as well. I'm not gonna go for their personal email, work email uh, or mobile phone number yet because I'm gonna show you how to do that manually just through the enrich function. So we're gonna allow that to work its magic. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how we can actually pull in some extra data and then we can have a look at everything. Ah, oh, actually it's pulled in lots of this quite quickly. So if we click on that, we can see the extra information that we've pulled in here. Okay, and what it's now doing is it's now giving us a list of all of the full names, their job title. I'm gonna have to blur out a lot of this information um, so this video doesn't get taken down by YouTube. 
Um, but yeah, you'll get the idea. You can see the columns at the top here for the actual data that we have managed to collect at this point. Okay, so let's hit enrich data and let's find work email addresses. And um, we're gonna hit work email. And what uh, Clay does is it will now, now use APIs for Prospeo, Drop Contact, Datagma, Clay Enrichment, Hunter to go and find email addresses for each and every one of these contacts. So it'll first try this and then if that fails, it'll try this and then try that and then try this. Crazy, right? So we want to select the full name first of all, got the company domain name there. And then we also want to make sure we have validation turned on. So not only is it going to find the email address for this contact, but it's also going to validate that that email address is correct, which is very important when you're sending emails. You don't want a high bounce rate. And so we're going to hit this drop down and run this for 221 rows, okay? And it's now going to go, if we go on the right hand side, we can see queued. It's going to work its magic. It's going to go and it's going to run after these. It's still enriching the LinkedIn profile at the moment, which shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. It's then going to start enriching these emails. So let's hold tight. Here we go. So we can actually see some of these coming through already. So with lots of these, it's finding the email address on the first time round. For this one here, Tom, we can see no email found. So what it goes in, it goes into queued straight away in the next column. So we can now try and find this email address through other software. So let's just let this do its thing. Okay, so we now got a whole bunch of different emails here. Again, this is going to be blurred, but hopefully you can see the green um, ticks here where we've actually found an email address. For some of these, it's taken the fourth or even fifth software to go and actually find the email address, the validated email address for this contact. Now imagine if you only used one tool previously, you wouldn't have found that contact email address, but using Clay, you can find it, right? And on the right hand side, we've got all the list of all the validated work emails. And if we filter this list now, we can add a filter. Undo, under validate uh, email. Okay, so it should be right at the bottom. Validated work email is not empty. Okay, and now this is going to give us the list of all the leads that we actually have an email address for. So we had about a 60% success rate there, which is pretty awesome. Obviously, you guys can be generating thousands of leads at once. So now we've got all the email addresses. We can go as deep into this as we want. We hit enrich data. We can look at their Facebook. We can find their mobile phone number, their gender, their Instagram, any of this information that is relevant. Okay, if you scroll down, you can actually see all of the integrations, all the different tools that Clay is using to pull data from. Okay. And we can even create our own custom workflows depending on how deep you get into this software. Twitter, you get the idea. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch on some AI functionality in a moment. But first of all, I want to show you, this is LinkedIn, right? This is us pulling in leads from LinkedIn, but LinkedIn has its limitations. Not all of you will be generating leads that are actually on LinkedIn. There are going to be millions and millions of leads that are going to be off LinkedIn. So let's use Clay to scrape an external website and pull leads from that way. So if we go over to Google, and I'm gonna do real estate, uh, New York, and let's say directory. And now we're gonna select the directory on here, so New York State. You'll be able to find this in pretty much any industry. There's directories for any industry out there. And we go on our extensions, we go on Clay for Chrome. You can download this on just the Chrome um, app or the store. And it's gonna auto detect all these different lines on screen. So we've got all these different companies on screen right now. It's gonna auto detect all of that information, okay? Just for this one single page. We can go through and we can do this for every page. But I'm gonna go ahead and add these leads straight into the workspace. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna scrape all of that data and give us a list of all of the company names, okay? So now we can do enrich data. So let's go over to domain and we're gonna hit this one here and it's gonna look on Clearbit and Google. We want the company name, which is column two. And then we're gonna run this for all of the columns. And it's gonna then go and find the websites for absolutely all of these companies, okay? And then we can go a step further. Okay, it's found the websites for many of these companies, but now we can go a step further and we could enrich on LinkedIn again and find a LinkedIn profile and we can find people as well, okay? And you get the idea. You can just jump into this as deep as you wanna go. So this is us generating a list of leads from a directory, okay? And there are a whole bunch of other ways that you can pull in data. You can import them from a list that you've bought from an external website. But I wanna show you something right now which is truly mind-blowing. And that is with chat GPT, you can create completely personalized one-liners for your emails or write entire emails if you want to in the Clay platform. So if we go enrich data, we hit AI, and then we go use AI, we hit browse templates, and we do email first lines. Let's see if we pick one of these from somewhere. Uh, let's use job title, okay? I haven't actually used this one before, so let's see. We've got job title there. We've got LinkedIn summary, okay? So have we got a LinkedIn summary yet? Summary, cool. Okay, use this template. 
Now we can see on the right hand side, we've got a prompt and you can completely personalize these prompts. You can make this prompt completely your own if you want. Whatever ideas you've got using ChatGPT, you create your own prompts, you can add them onto here. What I really like as well is we can also give context. So we can give examples of exactly what we want to give back. So here we've got, what have we got like a summary of who they actually are. Okay, and what they actually do as the vice president of sales, I would imagine you focus on managing your team to be as efficient at, as, at clo as closing these deals as possibly. Get your words out. Jesus, struggle with that one. So now if we run this, and we're going to run this for all 114 rows. Okay. It's now going to, for every lead that we have a LinkedIn description, a job title, we can now create completely personalized first lines. So here we can see a bunch of these already pulling through. So overseeing banking and commercial real estate operations, liaising Manhattan building, leasing Manhattan buildings and maintaining relationships, leading and innovating in smart building. So you could say, hey John, I imagine you spend most of your time and then import field, and here we go. Leasing Manhattan buildings and maintaining relationships. Hey Samuel, I, know, I imagine you spend most of your time building your company and closing real estate deals, but, and then go into your email and your pitch and you get the idea. And you might say, okay, Jordan, well, what about if I wanna actually go ahead and change this? Well, just click on this and all you need to do is just give it some more context, add some more examples. You can change this and manipulate it in whatever way you want to. You could even create another tier of AI on this prompt specifically. So you can create another prompt saying, take this response here and do X, Y, Z with it, improve it in this way, et cetera, until you get the response that you want. And you might say, okay, well, what about all these leads that I didn't get a prompt response from? Do I now go ahead and disregard them? No, you can go and enrich data, you can go on AI and you can use AI, create your own prompt if you want to, or you need to use another template based on information that you do have for those other leads and create your own first line personalizations. Once you have a massive list of leads with personalizations, hit start email campaign and straight away from Clay, you can click create a smart lead campaign and you can go and run your own email outreach campaign using smart lead, which is an outreach tool. If you guys want me to make a video on that in the future, I can drop a comment down below. It's similar to instantly, but actually better in my opinion, it's what I use in my agency to send over 50,000 emails to new leads every single month. Now look, honestly, this is the tip of the iceberg when it comes to using clay.com. I could create hours and hours of content on this software. You really can go as deep as you want into this. Do let me know down below if you want more clay content in the future, but this is without a doubt the most effective way to generate high quality leads and get real quality data points that are actually validated from multiple sources across the internet. No longer do you have to generate a list of a thousand companies and only find 200 decision makers from it. You can pull in data from all over the internet using this one software. Now, when I decided I was gonna record this video, I reached out to the guys over at Clay to see if they could sort you out with a trial to try out this platform. But to my surprise, they went a step further and they said each and every one of you can gain 1,000 free credits if you use the link in the description, which is bonkers because that is literally hundreds of dollars worth of free service. So thank you for your generosity to everyone at Clay. I'm sure everyone watching this appreciates that. And if you wanna make the most of that, click link in the description. I don't know how long that offer will last. Those leads could literally be your first ever client, your first amount of money online. You can quit your job, whatever your goal is right now. This is the first step. Generate some high quality leads. Next, all you need to do is go out and sell to them.